Hello, everyone. Welcome into the Viewhouse Centennial for a third straight Victory Monday. We're getting used to this, and a big reason why we're getting all these Victory Mondays is because of the superstar who's sitting next to me, Pat mm -hmm. Sertan the second in the house. Best corner in the league, yes. Should he be the defense player of the year? Yes. I'm not going to make you say it. I'm just going to say it. <laughs> uh, Pat, so much fun watching you, and yesterday, of course, I got to start with the pick six. Take us through the play. What'd you see? Yeah, so um, I know it was a pivotal moment throughout the game. Um, obviously, the Raiders was driving down the field, and I felt like we needed to capitalize and make a big play um, and change, uh, you know, the duration of the game yeah. with a play. So um, I just read my keys. I read the receiver. Um, his, my eyes was telling me everything that was going to be passed, and I read that, and then I seen the ball in the air, and I had to make a play. And uh, I just seen nothing but green, green grass, and yeah. I was just moving, you know. You were in cruise control. Almost 21 miles an hour. Yeah. Did you get winded at all? I was when I hit when I hit the 50. Like I was in stride, and I realized like this is actually 100 yards. <laughs> like <laughs> I never experienced. Like I was so fatigued right after. But um, yeah, it was a game changing play. But mm -hmm. I had the shot of my teammates as well for causing that pressure on the quarterback for making that happen for sure. This defense has been incredible, and we're going to talk about them. But when you talk about game-changing plays, like we've seen it before, right? A play that completely changes the game. Fans feel it. We feel it. But on the sideline, can you explain what that feels like when you really feel the momentum shift? Yeah, you could just tell the energy just shift. Um, throughout the crowd, uh, you could just see the energy um, just going full throttle uh, throughout my teammates uh, rallying behind me, uh, cheering me on, this and that, because everybody... It's very passionate about the game. And you can tell that passion in that sequence all collectively came together at that moment. And I just felt a momentum swift, I mean, shift. And we definitely needed that. So, um, yeah, it was good, man. Uh, I actually uh, was in awe of the moment. Uh, it was a special moment for me, for sure. It was incredible. And there was a, uh, another special moment. Riley Moss got his first career pick. Uh, you were really like PC about yesterday. First white corner, though, to do it in 22 yeah. years. Yep. Uh, what's it like playing across, Riley? Oh, man, Roddy's great, honestly. Um, I mean, he's a guy that just bees himself every day. Um, you know, he's very authentic to who he is. Um, he comes in, work every day, ready to work. And um, that's a testament towards him uh, just because he's, he's willing to learn um, and get better. You know what I mean? That's, that says a lot about him. And um, this past game, it was deservingly so that it was time for him to make a play, and it happened. So um, I'm very proud for my guy. I saw you posted the picture of the photoshopped of the white the white man can't jump is yeah. is this the duo we got going on here that's what it's looking like <laughs> honestly me and him uh we got a special bond going on for sure so i absolutely love it we talk about momentum shifts in a game but how about in a season you start 0 two now you guys are on a three game win streak getting better every single game i mean what does the future of the rest of the season look like from your perspective right now five game in, games in yeah i just think that uh we on a roll right now obviously uh, we got to carry this momentum um, in throughout the course of the season because we know success is some challenges along the road. So uh, we just got to stay the same team that uh, who we are. Uh, we can't get complacent. Uh, we got to understand our component and uh, keep our foot on the metal because, like I said, it's the NFL. A lot can change, but at the same time, I got the utmost belief in this team um, and that we, we're ready to take on and face these challenges and win big ball games moving forward. You know, not to like look too far ahead, but it really feels like we're watching you guys re really build something real, something real special here. Uh, what's the sentiment inside inside that locker room? Yeah, the locker room is just full of positive energy. Um, I mean, when you got a young team um, that's willing to compete and uh, play hard each and every week, yeah, um, it says a lot about that. And we got a whole bunch of young leaders as well too mm -hmm. um a lot of people that could play that leadership role because uh you know everybody wants it everybody's eager everybody's determined uh to reach that next level and the next step especially especially those guys that's been on the team for a while you could tell mm -hmm. um the energy behind it and the passion behind it yeah. with this team and the coaches got the utmost belief in in us and we got the utmost belief in our coaches so um, you know, we're just ready to see these next couple of weeks uh, what they have to offer, and we're just ready to hit it on the road. Yeah, it is, is exciting. Fans are excited. The yeah. city's on fire. Every, everybody told me, like, today, they're just so happy. Everybody's writing on, on the Internet how happy they are today. You make the whole city happy. You light them up. We got Pat Sertan II in the house. Such an honor to have you here, Pat. We got a lot more coming up here.
Welcome back to Xfinity Monday Live here at the View House Centennial. We've got a very special guest tonight, Pat Sertan in the house. Look, I think he should be the defensive player of the year, and you know who else does? His teammates. She with a play fake, rolling to his left, now floats one too high, it's going to be intercepted. I completely changed the game. I mean, they were down there 10 nothing. could have been 17, 13 nothing. so Pat's got my vote for defensive player of the year right now, so... <laughs> Hey, Zach Allen said it best. Uh, obviously, Pat, I'm not going to ask you should you win it, but I'm curious. I heard Chris Jones talking about it. He was asked about it today. What would that mean to win DPOY? He said it would mean everything. What would it mean to you to win Defensive Player of the Year? Yeah, I mean, it would mean a lot, uh, something to add, uh, you know, to my resume. Um, obviously, I want to be a highly established player and add that to my body work. Uh, it would mean a lot um, just for my peers and people across the league to vote me uh, Defensive Player of the Year. Um, it's something I want to take lightly. Mm -hmm. I can tell you that. So um, it'll be a huge honor. But you know, at the same time, I can't. I can't be focused on those things sure. because I know what the main common goal is for this team, and that's just to get to that next step. And um, you know, I mean, when you win games and when you have team success, the individual awards come after. So that's what I'm focused on right now. Absolutely. What a perfect answer, too. Yeah. But we look at you every week just locking up these wide receivers. I've nicknamed them Pat's Prisoners. These guys are just in jail for, for, for the whole game. But how much studying goes into doing your job so well where you are shutting down really some of the best receivers in the game? Yeah, a lot of, a lot of that goes into film study, uh, just knowing your opponent, um, knowing your matchup, uh, their tendencies, mm -hmm. um, because... No matter what um, situation may occur, offense is going to find a way to attack you. So you got to sure. be prepared for that. And uh, it just goes into a lot of, lot of preparation throughout the week mm -hmm. on the field. You know, I don't take practice lightly. Mm -hmm. uh, I work hard in practice, and that just translates to the game, you know. So, yeah, throughout the week, I prepare, prepare it pretty well. And um, I look to carry that success on to the game. Mm -hmm. So. That's what I do. Well, we certainly see it coming through on Sundays. And yesterday, man, we got to talk about the uniforms. I mean, you said yeah. you were going to come out swaggy. And boy, yeah. did you come out swaggy. I feel like we should wear these more than twice a year, Pat. Yeah, that's what I said. I said it um, in one of the um, press conferences yeah. I had. I was like, man, we should wear these uniforms more than twice. Yeah. I mean, I know I know it's like some that that's like a hidden gem that it was supposed to be for the fans to see for one time. But like. I wouldn't be mad if we wear these every week as a primary because I, they were so clean. I mean, just looking at it in a person, I I'm, like and seen it just with my own eyes. I just seen like the effects of it and how dope the uniforms yeah. were. So, yeah, I, I want to. I hope we can wear that primary very soon. Oh, me too. It is so clean, like you said. Oh my gosh! And and what a special weekend it was. You had all of these alumni. You did a jersey swap with Champ, two mm -hmm. legends. That was like Broncos country, just giggling, giddy inside. Yeah. What was that like for you, though? Um, it was an honor uh, because, you know, me me and Champ uh, talk, uh, you know, often. So and he tells me tips about my game, this and that. So um, having that exchange, man, I just felt like it was only necessary to get a pick. Yeah. You know what I mean? And have a legendary game because he was there. But, yeah, like me and Champ, like we talk uh, here and there. So being able to see him at the game and present, you just felt the aura was there. So. It was definitely a legendary pitcher, like I mentioned before. I love it. Two legends, two goats right there. That is so yeah. amazing. Uh, we love that. We got Pat Sertan in the house. Such an honor tonight. And we got a lot more coming up, but we got to take a quick break right now, get caught up on today's news and weather. For that, we send it over back to the studio where we find Michael Spence. Hey, Romy. Great. Continuing Romy Bean, hanging out with Pat Sertan. Romy, I imagine he is uh, a very, very popular guest tonight down at the View House. He is very popular. Everybody wants a little piece of Pat. Why would you not? You know, what do we say, number two on the field, number one in your hearts, Pat Sertan, right here. Uh, we got some questions, of course. It's time now for the People Want to Know, brought to you by Common Spirit, official health care partner of the Denver Broncos and champions for the communities we serve. Brian's got a good one. He wants to know, does defense come up with a, a nickname yet? Um, not yet. Okay. Uh, it's up in the work. So um, we'll be interested to hear what y'all have. So Ooh, Okay. Yeah, it'd be very All interesting right. to see what y'all got. So, I like uh, cause it. Because it's still up in the air. Okay. You know what I mean? So... We're still trying to find a Get catchy nickname. Some ideas you're thinking about. it. His suggestion was like Game Controller, which I kind of like because of PS2. Oh, uh, Game that? Controller? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, well, we could put it in the maybe. books. It sounds like people should, should give you some suggestions, maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I love it. I, I, I love to hear y'all's suggestions. Okay. So. 
We're gonna find out. We're gonna we're gonna submit that list to Pat. That was the people want to know. Brought to you by Common. Uh, Pat Sertan the second in the house. And one of our favorite things about you, Pat, is as dominating as you are on the field, you do just as much in the community. And you got mm -hmm. something coming up uh, this Friday. Inspire the Dream Gala. Tell us a little bit about about what that is. Yeah. So the Inspire the Dream Gala is my second annual uh, gala. Um, it's for my foundation. Uh, my foundation mission is to help those students uh, in financially disadvantaged situations and uh, provide them with the necessary resources and needs uh, to help them exceed in a further, um, you know, jobs or whatsoever or, you know, necessary uh, tools for the next level. So everything that they need is to their disposal, and that's what I'm trying to do to help students uh, in the inner city community reach that next level. And um, yeah, the whole Inspire the Dream Gala is about fundraising money for a special cause. Um, obviously, it's something special to my heart. Uh, I've always been an advocate mm -hmm. towards giving back to the community in such a meaningful way. Yeah. And, you know, just to be in this situation and using this platform uh, to the best of my ability, I, just, I could just say I'm very blessed yeah. to be in this situation. So. Well, we are certainly blessed to have you doing what you're doing in the community, Pat. It's amazing. These inspiration rooms, these steam rooms, they're incredible. You can still get tickets. They're still available. PatrickSertan.org. It's this Friday. And help Pat. Help the community. You've done so much, Pat. We are so grateful to have you on the show, to have you in the community, to have you on the field. You are the best. Thank you. Guys, hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com for a few extra minutes with Pat Sertan the second All-Pro Future Hall of Famer, my vote for Defensive Player of the Year this year. And Pat, <laughs> You are so fun to watch, but so is this entire defense. Uh, tell me, you guys just play so well together. Mm -hmm. What is the chemistry in this group right now? Um, the chemistry is high. I think we're firing on all cylinders. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, I think, um, you know, with our D-line, linebackers, secondary, everybody, um, we got a very special bond. I think collectively as a unit, um, I think when you have the rush and everybody communicating, the mm -hmm. coverage, it just – suits us up for a great yeah. defense, and that's what we're doing. Um, and we're riding the hide horse right now, you know. Um, I think each and every week uh, we, we come out with that same urgency, same enthusiasm uh, to be the most dominant unit on the field. And we prove that each and every week, and we're just looking to build on it for sure. And, and it is showing, but it also looks like playing in a, a, a Vance Joseph defense, yeah. I mean, it looks like you guys are having a lot of fun out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, Vance allows us to, you know, really excel in our own skill set, mm -hmm. uh, which is very unique because, you know, some D coordinators, they are very heavily reliant on this scheme, and some players can't really adjust to it, but Vance, he's open towards anybody's skill set, mm -hmm. and that's what allows us to play to the best of our ability because he trusts in us uh, to really excel in his defensive game plan and his scheme, and, I mean, we just got the utmost confidence in him yeah. in Vance, and, like, he's a real MVP. I yeah. can say that for sure because... I mean, his calls, his schemes is really, like, terrifying for opposing yeah. offenses. It's so much fun. Take a bow, VJ. He has been a, yeah. a sensational. Your game is so sound. There's no flaws in it. But I'm curious, from your perspective, what did you go into the season wanting to work on, wanting to elevate? Uh, I think I could definitely uh, elevate uh, more and more film study, mm. um, building my IQ of the game, because, you know, with more experience in this league, you realize the game slows down for you. Yeah. And uh, I think I sense that now. Uh, I'm seeing things uh, crystal clear. Mm. Um, I'm seeing, like, different formations, route tendencies, mm. stuff like that that allows me to really, really hone in on, like, opposing yeah. offenses and how they're trying to attack us defensively. Mm. So I think having an IQ of the game, uh, that's what takes you to that elite, elite level, yeah. that Hall of Fame status. Yeah. So. Now I'm always trying to work on that for sure. I love it. Uh, you, up next, you got the fighting Jim Harbaugh's. You got the Chargers. You've seen the Chargers a lot. They mm -hmm. get a different head coach. I know I'm sure you haven't dived into too much film study just yet, but do you expect a different offense with Jim Harbaugh leading this team now? Yeah, I think I think I expect them to have a lot of grit. Um, obviously, um, he's bringing that enthusiasm towards their team. Uh, and you can tell they're a very young team, but... Um, they got a lot of urgency behind them, a lot of young players that showcasing their talent. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us because um, it's very uncertain with what they got. But at the same time, that's, that could be a dangerous group yeah. uh, when you don't know uh, what's going on. You know what I mean? The what ifs. That's yeah. the most dangerous part of playing a football team like that. So 
Um, it's going to be a challenge, but we're going to be prepared for it. I can't let you go without asking you about Travis Hunter. What are your yeah. thoughts on this player? I mean, he, he's, he's an amazing player, honestly. Just his body of work, um, what he's able to do. I mean, he's just so efficient. And um, just him playing both sides of the ball, obviously, I know that's the main stat, but I mean, we talk about 170 snaps, you know, I mean, he's just in every play, mm -hmm. offensively and defensively. I mean, that's just unheard of. Yeah. I mean, that's just a testament to, you know, his conditioning, you know, how in shape he is and the type of player and drive he is. So, um, you know, the, the sky's the limit for him. Yeah. I'm looking forward uh, towards his future. So he said recently on a podcast that he wished the Broncos would draft him so he could stay in Colorado. <laughs> so, of course, Broncos fans are like, what, Pat and Travis on the field yeah. together? Uh, how much fun would that be, though? That'd be fun, but, you know, I hope we don't uh, <laughs> get that high in the draft, you know. But, um, I mean, he's going to be probably the top pick, if not top three pick yeah. in the draft. So um, it would be pretty cool to have him on the team, though, just a dynamic playmaker like that um, that does it on both sides of the ball, man. Uh, It'd be very compelling to see. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Pat, this has been such an honor to have you tonight. You do so much in the community. Before we let you go, I know I said I was going to let you go, but tell everybody what you got going on this Friday so people can come if they want to. Yeah, so I have the second annual uh, Patrick Sertan II Foundation Inspired a Dream Gala uh, at the Ritz-Carlton at 6 p.m. this Friday. So um, it's a great event for a great cause. Um, spread the word out. Uh, any way you can, and I'm looking forward to the night. So. And you can still get tickets, patricksertan.org. Get tickets, support Pat and all the amazing work he does in the community. And, of course, we can't wait to see you on Sunday against the Chargers. Yep. All right, Pat, you are the best. <laughs> thanks so much. Thank you. Guys, thanks for logging on. We'll see you next time.